Hi guys, welcome to this edition of Research MD, brought to you by BioOrigins Pharma. Today, I will be bringing to you a summary of the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, I've had a lot of questions and people worried about the kind of products that is in the market and how that probably the product is not safe for human use and so on and so forth. So I'll try to bring a general summary so that we understand the steps that's taken before a product gets into the market. So the first step is actually what I call drug discovery. So the first step is where scientists actually discover a substance that has the ability to cure any disease or any ailment. Now, when they discover this substance, the next step will be the preclinical trial where this substance will be tried in tissues, organs, or in animals. So in modern times, what happens is that Scientists do manufacture tissues or organs in the lab and they will stimulate this disease condition in the tissue and then administer the substance and see if this tissues, uh, the integrity of this tissue remain the same and if the uh, substance actually cure the ailment. So the reason is we want to know if this substance is actually safe for use or it will generate other problems while you are using it. And we also want to know if it has the capacity to cure the disease that we want it to cure. The next step after that, when we find out that this substance uh, is actually safe, it will not destroy the tissues or organs, and that this substance actually has the properties that we are actually thinking it has. The next step will be to try it among humans, which this step is also known as the clinical trial. Now, most pharmaceutical companies, the Department of Clinical Development is responsible for that. Now, this uh, substance will be tried among humans, data will be collected, and when the data is collected, the next step will be to actually, you know, submit this data to the regulatory body. In America, the regulatory body in charge is FDA. So this data will be submitted to FDA in, uh, in different formats. So FDA has different criteria. It could be pre-market manifestation, pre-market approval, I'll go into details in our subsequent video. For now, you should know that this data will be presented to FDA. FDA will, you know, look at the data and if it meets their criteria, they will then approve this product and then it will get into the market. Stay tuned. Our subsequent videos will try to look at each of these steps in details, especially the clinical trial and also the regulatory pathway. So you should expect more in our next videos and we'll try as much as we can to bring all the information to your doorstep.